Hello and welcome to another special video review and tonight we've got Dragonstorm which is a Transformers The Last Night Premier Edition. Uh, I think it's a uh, leader size figure but actually it's like two Voyagers, there are two Voyagers figures that combines into a uh, leader size dragon. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I, ought to, I really ought to, to take the, the figure, I really love the combining uh monsters and oh, yeah <laughs> so uh yeah we've got the box right here and all the weapons fell off because obviously i've uh already opened the box so they they can't hold anymore so <laughs> yeah uh nice box uh, not much shells you got a uh cool looking dragon right here with all the spikes and uh, uh it look like torns it, it looks like the dra the whole dragon is made of torns kind of cool but it's not what this one's about so yeah in the back we've got if we can just a little bit more the uh, figure right here showing storm ring and dragonicus that combines into a dragon storm and they say like 27 steps to transform storm rain and 26 steps to transform dragonicus to um, change it into a dragon that's not, 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 not was a, what I would say. I think Storm Rain here really has the short end of the stick. Uh, uh, Dragonicus does have a lot of stuff happening during transformation from uh, Dragon Mode into uh, his robot mode, but Storm Rain just feels like, uh, I don't know, he, he, I'll show it in robot mode, but it really feels like they, they just like, and there you go it's a robot you know kind of feel left out a bit so yeah on the other side some more thorny dragon and it's pretty much it so let's open them up Yoink. inside we have the instructions so there's instructions well the transformation is rather easy it's just how to place everything at uh, a specific space but yeah we've got cool instructions right here and the instructions are rather small like it's printed small compared to a lot of figure that I've seen like with poster size um, instruction and it was just like a, a 10 steps transformation figure you know <laughs> and yeah this one is like 27 plus 26 I think it was written like wow so yeah there's a lot of steps but uh yeah instructions are okay not you know not really necessary because dragon mode is quite easy so let's start up with the weapons first oh. and one sword come on sword 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 all right so we've got a tiny gray sword they, they are all like really plain looking swords and these are exactly the same so yeah, on one side there's a peg, on the other there's nothing. Both swords handle are exactly the same, so yeah. Two of the same sword. And we've got some, I don't know, I think it's called a morning star, or just a big mace, so yeah. <laughs> and yeah, there's not much to it. I don't, I'm not really a big fan of the hollow thing. Kind of looks like a pumpkin carved into a medieval mask i don't know <laughs> so yeah and here we have the main course now mine when i opened it up was a lot of uh bad transformation and pieces that just flew any everywhere uh from uh the box the uh dragonicus head was opened up so it had like three head dragon right here with the dragonicus heads sticking out which was kind of odd obviously he doesn't have his tail out so you need to pop this open flip this out close this back in and open this up now his tail is opened up also the shoulder pads right here uh, these are shoulder pads on each uh, dragon neck they love to pop out like at any movement so uh, also on uh, Uninjured wings, open the wings up and open them up. So, yeah, now we have a nice 
huge dragon all opened up. And he is pretty damn cool, if you ask me. I really love this. There's a lot of articulation, lots of details. And yeah, if you can just check the head first. Can we focus? Yeah, inside of the mouth, there is the tongue painted in orange. The whole head is all a... Well, I don't like this, but it's all soft rubbery plastic. But still, there's lots of nice detail all painted on the head, the teeth. Uh, the Like I said, the inside of the mouth is uh, painted orange. And all three heads are pretty much exactly the same. And, oh, like I said, this piece right here is like a shoulder pad. And this thing loves to pop out. Like, insane. It doesn't want to stay in at all. At any movement. <laughs> so, alright. So, yeah, head was nice. And the back right here, the back is all like a brush chrome. It's all brown and gray and beige. And it all has like a really nice uh, chrome brush. Which looks really nice. But... Yeah, still, there's colors everywhere, like there's brown here, beige here, uh, black, gray, orange on the neck, uh, there's blue right here, there's uh, metallic, uh, blue, there's me uh, gray metallic, there's colors everywhere, it's kind of odd. The chest, which is also Dragonicus chest, is also like all in, it used to be chrome, but it's all been brushed into a beige brown, which... It looks really nice. It looks like a really battle damage aged up transformer. <laughs> so, our articulation. We've got the uh, start with the tail, <laughs> the tip of the tail that goes up and down, and middle tail right here, along with the foot uh, right here. Uh, not much else right here. Uh, the mm, yeah third leg. <laughs> it does kind of pop out there's it, it, not much is holding it you know so as for the leg we do have a uh, uh, rotation at the upper thigh uh, we do have a ball joint at the foot it doesn't tilt much a lot it does goes up and down a little bit as for the dragon arms we do have a uh, ball joint at the shoulder and a swivel at the elbow plus the uh, hand only goes up it doesn't go down that much only goes up like this, so you can just put him like all, all on, on all four. And the shoulder pad just popped again! Yay! Like I said, the, this thing just doesn't want to comply at all. Alright. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the arms. The neck are all on a ball joint at the uh, lower half of the neck. There's a uh, elbow joint right here, at the elbow joint at the neck. Yeah, it it, it does form an arm. <laughs> Just, but yeah, there is a swivel right here at the upper neck. They had right here another swivel, and the mouth does open and close. Plus the head does swivel up and down. All three heads are all identical. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for articulation of the dragon mode. I just, uh, maybe a little uh, uh, comparison size. Let's move this one backward a lot. So from the same movie line, here is the Voyager Optimus Prime. Yeah, he is small. Uh, obviously, this is the uh, alternate robot, uh, the alternate mode. So I'm putting Optimus in uh, vehicle mode just to compare. And yeah. <laughs> there is a significant significant size in him <laughs> and you know what just for the comparison i just have to put it out the only thing i can think of that would measure up to him is slog from the previous movie it's sort of the, the same type of thing although he, not a combiner but like a uh, Leader size Voyager, leaders uh, Voyager size um, Dinobots, that kind of look sorta the same size. Slug fits pretty much. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> I just had to show it. Also, uh, the uh, combiners, the, the the way everything taps in and has a space and everything just goes in, into the combining mode of the dragon. It just makes me feel so much like Beast Wars Magmatron. Everything screams about this figure, Magmatron. I don't know why. Uh, the transformation, how everything just flips around and wraps itself and taps in. It, it feels so much like Magmatron. Uh, when what Ma Ma Magmatron is combined into a robot mode, it feels like the dragon mode of uh, Dragon Storm. <laughs> Yeah, obviously when Magmatron is all separated in three figures and Dynamo and Dinobot, it doesn't feel a lot much, but just the way all everything taps in and fits everywhere in Dragon Mode feels like when you combine Magmatron into Robot Mode. So I just had to do the comparison. <laughs> so uh, yeah, mm, let's uh, split them up and do the combination, the uncombination. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, let's make it into a double robot mode so all right for the legs first up you just want to unpeg right here there's a tab underneath here that tabs on to that peg right here so you need to lift and pull out so yeah the legs are like this and next up you want to bring the uh the dragon hand arms up like this and you want to split right here, there's a crack already done at the chest that goes over the shoulder. You need to split this open. And it's gonna be really hard. All right, like this. And what you wanna do is pull out all the center right here. Let's come back to him later. All right, so what you wanna do now is uh, flip the arms in like so. A dragon arms in like so and you want to flip them inside it's kind of odd so you want to flip it, them in like this and you want to rotate them all the way in like this so that the arms are kind of really hard to place all right like so all right like this all right so this is how you want it. pause up and flip like this so it's sort of like the dragon paws are praying <laughs> next up you want to flip the head that is uh, on this side right here flip it up like this and that's another part that just loves to pop out. So then you want to close the arm. So flip the uh, dragon head up like this. And you want to close this in. And as you close it in, there's a peg right here and right here on the shoulder. That's going to peg inside of the the uh, armor. Just uh, on the shoulder of the armor right here. Just like tabs like this. So same thing on the other side. And make sure to peg everything in. Here, like so, just move the arms in so it leaves some space for the head, and we're pretty much done with this. Uh, let's do the arms, flip the arms down, down, and just for fun, you can leave the dragon head if you'd like. <laughs> kind of looks odd, but yeah, you can use the jaws as hands, but no, the real thing is you flip this down. Flip this open, flip the wrist all the way out like this, and close it back in, and then you rotate the arms. Same thing on the other side, flip this down, flip this up, close the head in, and voila. You can close the mouth, and yeah, we have both arms done now. Finally, the legs. You want to come on the other side of like here, and bring the uh, knee pad down and flip the whole thing up and clip it in so you flip the knee like this and bring the leg up 
and it's just gonna clip in so like this then you bring the whole leg on the other side like this and you flip open the foot just flip the toes open like this and next up you just need to join the tie piece together eventually and like so and pack it in and voila and we have Dragonicus all transformed now for the wings they're kind of big for him so you can just flip them in so it leaves him like just a cape you can also just flip the wings out if you want and make him like huge wings it's all up to you but yeah just like this and you can give him his weapon I don't know which weapon goes into which robot I'm not sure and all right so we've got Dragonicus all transformed up pick this in all right let's do the other one and um, yeah so close the tail flip the leg like this close the tail in and flip this open like this and just rotate the feet out so flip this down also flip the leg out flip the foot out and rotate the waist around as you can see he's almost done like I said this one just sort of uh, have the short stick <laughs> of the transformation mold and yeah so um, let's flip the arms up like this just a little bit not not too much because otherwise exactly that I was afraid of the shoulder pad will pop out so flip the uh, the whole arm like this on the side come to the arm like this flip this all the way down and then you flip this back up and you can rotate the head all the way around and uh, you know you can put the shoulder pad again in and like so will you pop back in correctly like I said that thing just drives me nuts just doesn't want to stay in all right flip the arms like this flip that this is the dino uh, dragon ass literally it's his ass I would have wished if you could just like rotate it and just close it on the other side just his ass would just you know flip and make him a good backpack but instead no we have a the ugliest backpack I've seen in years so yeah next up you want to flip the hand open like this and just for exactly uh, like uh, Dragonicus you can use a dragon as a hand but it's kind of long <laughs> so exactly the same you flip this panel open flip the hand out and voila and that's yeah, shoulder just popped again. Oh, it's driving me nuts. Uh. And it's not even the same shoulder. It's just like all the shoulder pads just loves to pop out. So, um, yeah, now we've got him. We can give him his weapon. Storm Rain. So yeah, he got his sword and yeah, it's pretty much it. Like I said, he is pretty much the short and stick of the transformation from both of them. Cause this one is a lot more involved and this one is just like the finishing details, I guess. <laughs> so um, yeah, they do look awesome together though. You know, they are an awesome sets of figure. And I love the combination into the dragon mode. But mm, the shoulder pads drive me nuts. <laughs> so, um, yeah, articulation wise, there's a swivel at the head for a Storm Rain, ball joint on the upper shoulder, 
both arms. Uh, the disc kind of wiggles and it drives me nuts. Lots of things drives me nuts. But yeah, it's supposed to peg in and even pegged in it still wiggles. And yeah, so uh, swivel at the upper arms, elbow joint, nothing at the wrists. We do have weight on them, split. And uh, yeah, you can move uh, like this, the whole, uh, the whole mounty. He does have a knee bend that goes only about 90 degrees. And he does have a small toe tilt. Pretty much it. And yoink, yoink. Let's set it aside. As for Dragon, <coughs> let's remove his weapon just first. His head is also on a swivel. It does feel like a f small ball joint. It does feel like a ball joint. And uh, yeah, we do have a ball joint shoulder, a swivel at the upper arm. Although it's kind of injured by the uh, shoulder pad that I'm kind of amazed it didn't pop out yet. Again, <laughs> we do have an elbow a joint right here and nothing at the wrist again. Uh, this one doesn't have any waist rotation because of that. And let's plug everything back in. It doesn't peg in too tightly, but yeah, it does a job. The legs are all on a soft ratchet, which is really cool. He does a nice split. <laughs> he does goes up and front, uh, front and back. He does have a knee bend, about 90 degrees, a little bit more. And uh, nothing much at the foot. Uh, the foot does bend back and rotates, but there's, depending on how opened up it is, uh, you can give him a little bit of toe tilt, and the toe does move down. And also the wings, there's a swivel at the uh, shoulder, at the back right here, another sw swivel here, and another swivel here. So, the wings are cool. I love the wings. And let's give him his weapon back. And yeah, like I said, he is a really nice set. A uh, little size comparison. Here we have the Voyager movie. Oops, Optimus Prime. <laughs> and now he is a bit much of the same size. You know? Now now he stands his, with them. Even in fact, he, he's a bit taller than both Dragonicus and Storm Rain. <laughs> And yeah, for the movie, they are awesome. The dragon mode is freaking awesome. Dragonicus is pretty damn good. Uh, it's only Storm Rain that from the front, he is cool. The, the helmet is awesome. It looks great. But when you turn him to side and then from back, yeah, if only this could just spin around and clip in nicely into the back this would have made like a nice armored backpack would have looked nice the legs uh, i'm used to the hollow legs from hasbro but yeah dragonic uh, storm rain does have the it is the weakest link of the two my main problem oops Drop something. My my main problem is the shoulder pads that just loves to pop out at any damn moment. <laughs> so yeah, I do recommend the set. It's an awesome figure set. Uh, I do believe uh, Dra Dragon Storm is the third most desirable figure from the movie. The first one being Optimus Prime, and the second one being maybe Cogman. These these dudes are awesome set and yeah i do recommend them so uh thank you for watching and see you next time